now we will explain closed packing in three dimensional in three dimensional what we do we place another layer over the two dimensional closed packing of the particles so there are uh, two methods for placing the second layer that we have scale closed pack structure of two dimension and a layer a layer is there where the particles are closely packed in two dimension and now we place second layer over the a layer where all the particles are aligned over one another means the second layer is placed same in the same manner as that that layer a so this called this may also be called layer a because all the particles are of the same alignment as the first layer so we call it as a a a a a a, a structure means there is only one layer and all other layers are aligned all uh, the particles of all other layers are aligned to the with each other so this is called a a a structure now the second method of placing the second layer is this is called scale closed packed structure where the all the layers are aligned particles of all the layers are aligned and second method which is called hexagonal closed packed structure in this what happens a layer has vacant spaces and when we place b layer what happens the particles of b layer are placed on the vacant spaces vacant spaces are depressions in layer a so they the uh, particles in b layer they occupy the empty space or depressions of a layer when they they cover the vacant spaces the tetrahedral void is created tetrahedral void is created created but the all the depressions of a layer are not filled completely by the particles of b layer some vacant spaces of b layer come on vacant spaces of a layer but they do not overlap exactly they they don't do not uh, overlap exactly and what happens another void is created that is called octahedral void so the placing the third layer two type of voids are created tetrahedral void when the particles of b are uh, placed on the vacant spaces of a layer and octahedral void when the empty space of b layer is on the empty space of a layer they do not overlap uh, uh, exactly but they are placed on one another uh, they are uh, aligned with one another in such a way that an octahedral void is created now the placing the third layer the third layer can be placed with two options the third layer may cover tetrahedral void tetrahedral void of uh, a and b layer if that is covered by the third layer then the th particles of third layer will align with the particles of a layer and then we say that that this structure is ab ab structure and this is also called hexagonal closed packed hcp structure its examples are magnesium and zinc uh, when crystallizes they form hexagonal closed packed structure now the second option of placing layer 3 is to cover the octahedral voids if octahedral voids created by a and b layer they are covered with the layer 3 then we say that third layer is not aligned with a and this may be third layer may be called a layer separate layer c and then what happens the fourth layer that will align with the layer a and we say that this is abc abc structure means means 
the three layers are repeated a b c a b c a b c they, that is they are repeated in the crystalline solid so that is called a b c a b c structure and in other words we say that this is cubic closed pair structure or face centered cubic structure in this uh, uh, the coordination number is 12 because one particle is surrounded by 12 other particles and the example of these is copper and silver they crystallizes in the cubic closed pair structure so this is about all about closed pair structure now we will do some numericals and you will find these numericals very interesting see first is a solid has a structure in which x atoms are located at the corners of the cube corners of the cube we have learned that there are eight corners and eight particles are located eight atoms are located at the corners of the cube but they are shared by eight adjacent saath mein lagte hue दूसरे जो यूनिट सेल हैं उनसे भी शेयर हो रहे हैं तो ये एट कॉर्नर्स कॉर्नर पार्टिकल्स का वन बाई एट ही लिया जाएगा एक यूनिट सेल के लिए सो वन यूनिट सेल शेयर वन बाई एट ऑफ एवरी कॉर्नर पार्टिकल एंड देर एट कॉर्नर पार्टिकल्स सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू वन एटम एंड वाई एटम्स आर एट द सेंटर ऑफ द एजिस means there are six edges six atoms are at the edges but they are shared by two adjacent by one adjacent unit cell so the all the uh, uh, atoms of this edges share they are shared by two unit cells so the exact number of atoms with one unit cell is 6 into 1 by 2 that is three atoms this is x this is y and z atom at center of the cube that is independent that is not shared by any other unit cell so we take, can take it as a one so what happens so the formula becomes x y3 and z this is the formula of the compound i think this is clear now the second question a crystallized solid has two elements a and b atom of a are present at the corner atom of a are present at the corners and b is present at face centers find the simplest formula of solid see a is present at corners eight corners are there and shared by one eight uh, adjacent unit cells so the resultant is 8 into 1 by 8 that is one atom of a and b is present at face centers means six faces are there six they are shared by two unit cells so 6 into 1 by 2 this is three atoms of b so the formula becomes a b this is a this is b a b 3 now second situation is what will be the formula of atom if atom of b is present at body center this is not at uh, face center this is body center so this is first situation second body center is independent and that is shared by only one unit cell so the uh, a is 1 and b will be 1 
and the formula will be eb now i think and this is also clear the third numerical third numerical is that aluminum crystallizes in face centered cubic fcc structure find number of unit cells in given quantity the given quantity is 10 gram so we are to find number of unit cells see atomic mass is given 27 gram per mole and here mass of each atom is equal to atomic mass divided by avogadro number because in uh, molar atomic mass the number of atoms is avogadro number atomic mass is 27 And our value number is six point zero two two into ten is to the power twenty three mole. Then the mass is four point. It will be if we calculate it four point four eight three into ten is to the power minus twenty three. Then. So this is the mass of one atom. And number of atoms in unit cell as this is face centered cubic in face centered cubic the number of atoms is fcc there are four face centered because face centered there are six faces six they are shared by two unit cells Three and one atom at the corners. Eight corners and eight into one by eight one. Then FCC has structure has four atoms and mass of four atoms that will be four point four eight three into ten is to the minus twenty three into four. That will be one point. Seven nine three into ten is to the power minus twenty two gram. This is the mass of four atoms, and four atoms are there in one unit cell. So in one the mass of one unit cell is equal to this, and we have ten gram. Ten gram in ten gram find the number of unit cells. Then number of unit cells in 10 gram of aluminum it will be 10 divided by 17793 into 10 to the minus 22 and that will be if we calculate it it will be 5.58 into 1022 so these are the number of unit cells which are present in 10 gram of crystalline solid i think this is also clear now we come on to another numerical please this is very important part of this lecture and uh, i request you that don't miss anything and listen me carefully and make and make notes or take a screenshot of these things and again see the video if you can't follow one thing now the density of silver having atomic mass 107.8 g per mole density is 10.7 g per centimeter cube now edge length is 405 picometer picometer means uh, in if we convert it in meters it will be 405 into 10 is to the power minus 12 meter okay find the number of silver atoms in a unit cell and predict the type of crystal 
now the density is what is density it is volume sorry it is mass per unit volume and what is the mass this is the number of particles number of atoms by molar mass multiplied by molar mass and divided by volume avogadro number into volume of one atom that is a3 then this by this we see that density is given 10.7 is equal to Uh, we have to calculate number of silver atoms n n we have to calculate then it will become d n a3 divided by m then d is equal to 10 point n is equal to 10.7 into n avogadro number 6.022 into 10 is to the power 23 and a a is uh this edge a length of the edge 405 into 10 is to the power minus 12 uh but it is in centimeter then it will be 10 is to the power minus 8 cm and that is and if we calculate it divided by molecular molar mass 107.8 if we calculate it we get n is equal to 3.97 or it is equal to rounded up to 4 when this is number of unit cell number of uh, uh, silver atoms in the unit cell is 4 then it is face centered cubic structure but if the type of the crystal it is face centered cubic question now we come on to the fifth question that is calculate the density of metallic iron which is body centered cubic with an edge length of 286.6 picometer molar mass is given so isme uh, what is the strategy uh, how can we calculate first determine the number of atoms per unit cell and then mass per unit cell divided by volume that will give density so this is the uh, you can calculate it and find the solution of the Sa same is the question calculate density of gold which has face centered cubic unit cell with an edge length of 407.8 picometer molar mass is given and the formula is density is equal to nm this is the formula you can calculate and its answer is 19.29 gram this is the uh, homework for you to calculate these two questions and thank you for watching the video we uh, in our next lecture 
we shall study deeply about the uh, about the defects of the crystal structure crystal lattices and uh, now i again request you to please subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends so that they also get benefit of the video thank you